I'm going to show you today how to tie the pair of atoms in a clink hammer or a merger style. Let's go to the bench. So I've placed in the vise a size 12 Daiichi. It's an 1160. So the first thing I do is I take a piece of white Zeon and I attach it directly to the shank and I start to wrap around the base. Now, tie in the hackles. I have a brown hackle and a grizzly hackle. So I wrap it first on the shank a little bit, then I go around just one time, and then wrap it again. And my goal here is to secure this as well as I can, and then take the thread all the way back to the bend in the hook, making use of the rotary. I first secure the dubbing to the hook. Once I've got it secured to the hook, then it's just a matter of wrapping this piece of dubbing around the thread. Again, I'm wanting to add a bit of a taper so the uh, dubbing gets a little thicker as we move forward. And I double up on the area very close to the post simply because I want to uh, give the impression of a bit of a thorax right there. Again, I wrap forward. I go to the front of the post. One more stabilizing wrap for the hackle. And now I begin to wrap the hackle around the wing post. I have struggled for years on how to tie this off correctly. I find that if you pull the hackles back to the end of the fly, it does a lot better. And now I can add my whip finish. And because I tie my whip finish with, with my hands and not a tool, it's very easy for me to cinch down uh, in such a way that um, I don't even need any glue. So there you have it. The Clink Hammer Dash Emerger Para Atoms. This is an amazing fly and you'll love using it.